your basic blood work that you get from your physician is only meant to look for abnormalities they can prescribe drugs for. So when they test you for your blood lipids and they test you for your glucose and your liver function, your kidney function, they're looking for major outliers that could lead to a possible disease in the future or are already present. And the issue with this is, is that we're not looking at diet and lifestyle. We're not focusing on the energy production that's happening. And if you want to focus on your health and reverse chronic diseases, you have to ignite the energy and ignore the enemy. So when we take in oxygen, it should convert back out into carbon dioxide in a smooth process where we make enough antioxidants to get rid of the damaging free radicals like peroxynitrate, like superoxide, like hydroxyl radicals. And so if we don't move through this chemical process of transference efficiently, all of a sudden it leads to excess, excess reactive oxygen species. And that's what disease is, is the limitation in the energy flow and the electrons aren't moving. So how do we actually improve that? Well, first of all, the general test that you get isn't going to be enough to tell us how well we're producing energy because we need to not look at glucose, but we need to look at fasting insulin. We need to look at just not iron, but transferrin. And we need to look at ceruloplasmin. And we need to look at zinc, and we need to look at copper, and we need to look at magnesium. And so we get a whole rounded picture of actually what's happening inside the cell. When we look at hormones, we don't just want to look at TSH and say, oh, it looks good enough. We want to look at the whole function, maybe even look at antibodies. And the funny thing is, is once you go through all that lab work and you figure it out, do you even need to pay attention to heavy metals and bacteria and viruses because your immune system just functions? Because aerobic respiration and oxidative phosphorylation, how we produce energy and make energy, is actually doing what it's supposed to do. So your immune system just recognizes pathogens. Your body just eliminates heavy metals. It just functions how it's supposed to, as long as we don't back up in the chain, creating the excess electrons, causing reactive increase in reactive oxygen species. And that's the solution. So instead of getting eight to 10 different, maybe 12 different tests from, a le from labs, what you need is a probably about 40. And if you want to be really thorough, then we can do about 120. So we can double it down and we can actually look and really nail it down on what's going on, especially if we take your DNA and we line up your genetic mutations with that energy system in your blood work, then we can really nail it down and change your lifestyle and your diet and getting to the root of it instead of masking it with symptoms or masking the symptoms with a pill.